Hard to capture, extravagant, resurrect the track and it's militant. And I react like a convict and start killing. It's manifesting. The guards work like appliances, dealing in my cycle. Like a lot Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Naruto to explain here, bringing you guys another discussion for Boruto Naruto Next Generations, the manga, and for anime only fans, this is the time of the month where a lot of the content on the channel is going to be spoiler heavy, so if you don't want to be spoiled, I highly recommend clicking off and checking out some of the non-spoiler content that I have on the channel. There are roughly about 30 different playlists of videos that you guys can check out where you won't run into spoiler content. However, with all that being said, though if you're still here i'm assuming that you're okay with me talking about spoilers so yo we need to have a serious conversation about the strongest inner member of the car organization and for the purposes of this video i'm not going to be talking about jigen i'm not gonna be talking about ishiki who was inside of jigen the whole time i'm not counting those characters simply for the fact that number one ishiki is a freaking no sosuke and number two jigen had no sosuke inside of him and they're really one in the same at that point Point. I think that even anime only fans know that Jigen is absolutely busted. So who is the strongest inner member of Car? Well, I think that we can surmise based on all the information we have right now that it's gonna be code. Now, the reason why I say this is there have been a few hints at this point that Code is the one who has the most insane power out of all the inner members outside of Jigen. So number one, the first thing you have to look at is the fact that when you look at the actual story itself, Code is a character who is presented as somebody who is at the bare minimum, he's somebody that is going to be stronger than Delta because when Delta loses to the highly suppressed Naruto, when Naruto goes into his chakra mode and is fighting against Delta. Granted, this is a Naruto who has both halves of the QB's power right now, and Naruto is a lot stronger than he was in the Force Shinobi World War. Regardless of what a lot of people say, by default, Naruto is a lot stronger given he's got both halves of the QB. Delta was able to keep up with that suppressed version before utterly getting dominated and Code and Boro both talk down to her and you have this moment where it's implied very strongly implied and if not outright stated that both of them are far superior to Delta in terms of power with both of them saying that they thought that they could potentially take out Naruto if they had to and they were talking about basically drawing lots about who's going to get the opportunity to fight Sasuke or Naruto and they're basically fighting over the opportunity to do it so what this tells me right here is the fact that number one the fact that they thought Sasuke had the karma seal, which means Sasuke would have gotten a power boost as well. And they still thought that they could take out Sasuke, who, albeit is not as strong as Naruto, but is just as equally skilled, if not more skilled than Naruto. And the fact that Code thought that they could take out Sasuke, this lets you know right here that there's a different level of power when it comes to character code. So with Boro, we know that Boro was playing around with the members of Team 7 and Kawaki. He's got that insane regeneration ability, but it took Boruto transforming into an Otsusuki in order to take down Boro. So that brings us to character code. Well, when you look at code, Jigen or Ishiki felt confident enough in his abilities that Ishiki left him to personally guard the Tentail. So this tells you two things. Number one, if that Tentail gets out of control, Code is powerful enough that he can control that ten tails. Number two, the other thing that it tells you is that essentially Jigen trusted that character more than he trusted Boro, which means that either Code is more deadly than Boro is, or more than likely Code is going to be far more superior in terms of battle power than Boro could ever hope to be. Another thing you have to look at is the fact that even Kashin Koji, somebody who was able to keep up with Jigen at 10% of his power, and even Jigen once he transformed using some of that Otsosuki chakra that Ishiki was feeding him. Kashin Koji, even though he's a perfect sage, Kashin Koji displayed a little bit of worry and caution when it came to having to do battle with Code. So that tells you right there that more than likely, this is a character that if Kashin Koji is worried about going into battle with them and wanting to avoid it, that tells you, number one, this is a character who more than likely is as strong, if not stronger, than Kashin Koji. And then number two, what this tells us is that this is a character who's going to be saved for something later on down the line. 
Much in the same way we didn't see Kisame fully cut loose in the Naruto manga until we got to the early portions of the war arc where Naruto is learning to control the Kyuubi's chakra and then that's when you saw Mike Guy versus Kisame where Mike Guy basically uses that insane attack and causes the whole damn island to shake and you see Kisame's freakish power unleashed. I think that that is something that they're setting up right there. I think that that is something that could be something they use later on especially if this guy has a space-time ninjutsu that makes him more deadly in this case and i think that there are other things to take in consideration right here the fact that we don't know much about him and yet we've seen all the other car members i think that that is something they're saving for a bit of a reveal there i don't think we're going to see the puppet master thing where this is the true puppet master behind the entire situation i don't think that that's the case i think that he's a pawn albeit he's just a very powerful pawn because all the members of car are stated to have monstrous strength and when the weakest member out of all of them in terms of the manga is able to keep up with a suppressed naruto that in itself lets you know that these are some very powerful characters now the other thing that you have to look at is that these were regular human beings who were modified by a model with scientific ninja weapon tech turning them into cyborgs with the case of delta is debatable whether or not delta is a full-on android because delta has multiple bodies but all the other members are still human they've just been artificially enhanced and so when you look at a situation like this i think that this could be something to where if you reveal this guy as being more powerful now all of a sudden the threat of ishiki is something that stands out that much more because he's got a potential right hand man there and i think that given the fact that ishiki trusted him to guard the ten tails it lets you know that more than likely this is his number two inside the car organization i don't think it's a motto i think a motto is just a means to an end i really feel like when it comes to battle if a motto was the right hand then more than likely when it comes to battle more than likely code is going to be that extension of Ishiki Sosuki. I think that at the bare minimum, we could potentially look at code and say that code is on par with that 10% of Ishiki Sosuki that we saw before, which for 10%, that's still very, very powerful. That's insanely powerful for a character. However, I want to know from you guys, how do you guys feel about my idea that code could potentially be the strongest inner member of all the inner members of car let me know what you guys think down in the comment section and also rank the members of car in terms of strongest to weakest obviously jigen is going to be number one so leave jigen off of there just rank all the other members in terms of where you think that they're going to last at and most importantly we're also going to include deepa since deepa is an anime only addition to car i'm very curious to see where you guys will actually put deepa in terms of his character but so always guys if you like anything i had to say don't forget to comment rate subscribe and share thank you so much for watching to the end have an awesome day guys